From brand new game mechanics to fan-made remasters, these upcoming free mods add even more value than a normal paid DLC. The Portal franchise is one of the most acclaimed puzzle games ever made, but seeing as Valve apparently can't count past two, Portal Reloaded might be as close to Portal 3 as we're ever gonna get. Bringing 25 mind-bending new puzzles centered around a four to six hour story, Reloaded is the most content-rich mod we've ever seen. You play the role of Test Subject 4509 and are led through a special testing course by a brand new AI personality core. Though it doesn't have a name yet, the AI has over a hundred unique voice lines, offering its very own twist on Gladys and Wheat to bring through the humour of the series, and probably a little bit of the maniacal nature of its sadistic counterparts too. The mod uses all the assets from Portal 2 but expands on the original concept by adding one very unique twist, a third green portal that allows you to travel between timelines. It's still Portal, but with timey-wimey stuff. Each testing chamber has you jumping between the clean, almost sterile aesthetic of the present timeline to the decayed and overgrown future. This new variable makes Portal Reloaded a game designed specifically to challenge veterans of the series. It expects you to know the basics and doesn't waste time teaching you them. The traditional orange and blue portals have you move through three dimensions, but the third green portal now demands that you think in four amplifying the difficulty of all of the puzzles. At first glance, the testing chambers might feel familiar, but the added fourth dimension removes that notion completely as now the methods to solve each are fundamentally different. If you're a Portal veteran, this is definitely your next challenge. Developed by Portanis, Portal Reloaded is out right now. All you need to play is a copy of Portal 2. So what are you waiting for? The PC cult classic Gary's Mod built a platform for bright young creators to make standalone games of any genre. With aims to replace the original, creator Gary Newman has announced Sandbox. But how do you go about replacing such a widely loved game? Simple, improve everything across the board in every way. Using Valve Source 2 engine, Sandbox comes with a variety of remarkable innovations in game design from the past few years, but still doesn't lose its creative playground feel. It still implements modern sound design, graphics, physics, and popular game modes like Deathmatch. The toolkit includes options for things like NavMesh to chart AI character paths, custom assets to define what you want your game to be, and it simplifies the interface to make even the most experimental systems approachable. But systems and specs aren't what made Gary's Mod so popular. 15 years after the original Gary's Mod, it stuck around by being a perfect conduit for expressing creativity. We're already excited for the updated versions of classics like Prop Hunt, Trouble in Terrorist Town, and Jailbreak, but we're even more excited for the possibilities of what new sandbox games could be. What a group of veteran modders with new tools, or the next generation with fresh ideas could come up with. Either way, the extensive updates to this modding playground leaves the next generation of goofy party games in good hands. Sandbox is currently in heavy development, and an early release is slated for the first half of 2021, with its full release set to be in the second half of the year. Get ready to return to Cyrodiil, because modders are hard at work rebuilding and remastering the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion from the ground up. This is the remake Bethesda would have never given us. The scale of this project is massive. The entire map, main story, and side quests of Oblivion are all getting an update in Skyblivion. This includes a lot, right, I'm gonna need to take a big breath for this one. This includes new character models, new textures for cities, interiors and landscapes, a lighting overhaul, original armor and weapon designs, as well as NPC voice work, upgraded combat and magic mechanics, a more comprehensive UI, and even a few quality of life improvements like dungeons with quick exits. Whew. No more meandering back through your path of destruction after you've already got the loot. You could just step outside and equip that brand new horse armor with ease. Skyblivion is still completely modular, so the upgrades are optional. So if you're looking for the original experience with just a new coat of paint, then that option is there for you too. This mod is a passion project from the fans of the series. Rebel's Eyes and the Skyblivion team have been very active with the community, giving updates on progress and even hiring new modders to expedite the project without sacrificing quality. As of yet, there's no release date set for Skyblivion, but the way it's shaping up seems to be well worth the wait. Fallout Miami is a full expansion to Fallout 4, on par with the game's biggest official content releases. A departure from the series' typical locales, it offers a brand new campaign set in the lovely post-apocalyptic Miami Beach. The mod functions as any DLC to Fallout 4, meaning you can continue the adventure of your sole survivor from a previous save and have them travel to Miami without having to start a new game. 
Once that your character takes on the role of the silent protagonist, making it feel more in line with New Vegas than the dialogue wheel of Fallout 4. Fans of the original series will be happy to see this means the story will be told through more expansive dialogue options, you know, rather than just... John. <laughs> These options give the player more agency in understanding the unique ideological conflict of Miami that pits the Enclave against the Nuclear Patriots. The Enclave have been around for a few games, trying to rebuild America. The Nuclear Patriots are a new faction, anarchist road warriors, trying to stop the Enclave from doing just that. This DLC is made for hardcore fans of the series, as it returns to a focus in autonomy and dialogue decisions. The redesigned system brings back the RPG favourite, attribute and perk checks to support any playstyle with real consequences. To encourage player choice further, they've also brought back the faction reputation system to make sure your choices matter between the two sides of the conflict. The way it's shaping up, this content might be better than the official expansions. The dev team is doing what they can to make Miami really feel like a lived-in world. The cities and towns have multiple fully voiced NPCs. The world has warring factions in constant opposition. New mutated creatures inspired by the climate, like lizards and flamingos, roam the wasteland. Even the environment plays a role as sandstorms and tropical storms make weather another variable in survival. And as this game is made by fans, it never loses that Fallout humour and charm that's classic to the franchise. Similar to Sky Oblivion, Fallout Miami is a passion project being developed by a number of modders in their spare time. At the moment, there is no set release date, but with quarterly updates, it's shaping up to be a DLC that finally washes the memory of 76 away. And that wraps up our list for today. I'm really excited for these because when we think about what mods have done for us in the past, like, what have we seen? We've had Gary's mod, we've had Black Mesa, Counter-Strike, that was a mod. We've seen some amazing achievements from groups of people whose talent I cannot even fathom. <laughs> But let me know down below which mod you're looking forward to the most and let me know which ones I've missed out. There was a couple I couldn't fit on the list, uh, Skywind, which is a Morrowind recreation that looks awesome, and Fallout 4 New Vegas, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a recreation of New Vegas, but with the Fallout 4 engine, which could possibly be the best Fallout ever. I'm just going to say it. Neither of these actually have release dates, but I don't even care. I'm just happy they're in the works. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the video. And if you like the video, go on, give it a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.